everybody. My name is Daryl and I love shopping at the Goodwill Outlet. And um, that is also known as the bins. And so come along with me. And if you'd like to look at, at what people are picking up at the bins and reselling or keeping or um, reworking, um, subscribe and take a look at the stuff. Um, I try, I'm gonna try and start posting a video every week and um, to show you the stuff that I get from my accumulated hauls. Um, I usually go two or three times a week and uh, maybe that way I will quit getting so much stuff. Oh my goodness. So let's get going, you guys. Um, this is a, um, it's called the, the suck it all in top. No, it's called the, um, it's from Babaton. <laughs> and I had that word in my, in my mind just a second ago what it is. <laughs> oh well. Um, the pants are from Shein. Super cute. Just a, a nice lightweight um, cargo pant with um, a fly zip front. And uh, super cute. This is from obviously Nike. And what I love about it is this nice orange color. So I'm just kind of grabbing pieces and popping them together um, just to see how things work. I haven't put any of these things on before together. So um, I'm liking the orange with the olive. I like that pop of color. And uh, the linen blazer is an older cut. It's from Talbot's. And I think it will look super nice with um, other linen pieces. I like, uh, I love a white blazer. You could probably wear this as a shirt. Maybe open it up so you've got a bit of a, a zen look to it. Okay, can we say Barbie? <laughs> Bubble top in this cute, cute pink. I think it's fun. It's whimsical. <laughs> Check out these are flamingo sleep bottoms. Uh, I could show you this, but I am not convinced I like them yet. These are a um, utility style button fly denim short from Gap and I think that they are vintage. So we'll see what I can come up with um, to pull them together. I kind of like this tee. It's a men's shirt. The cotton is beautiful. It's probably Pima cotton. This is from Hugo Boss. And I actually like it with these pants. It's kind of okay, isn't it? Pairing all this stuff up with these sandals from my last video too. They are so comfortable. Okay, you guys, shield your eyes. <laughs> Do this. These shorts, they just had so much going for them, but they are just, I think, too tight around the top. They either need to be slouchier, and the thing is, they're the right size, so I don't quite, I don't know how they're supposed to fit. Um, if it's just maybe that smaller vintage sizing. I like where they hit on the knee. And um, I love this utilitarian thing and I love the button fly. I just don't think that they work. Um, so let's get them off really fast. <laughs> So I'm going to try and show you this stuff without you getting too big of a peek of my foundation garment that is here in the middle. Um, <laughs> top is from Gymshark, so you could maybe tell. 
and I absolutely think it's sweet. Um, I think it's supposed to be a looser fit, but I'm not entirely sure. And then these high-rise jogger pants are from Lululemon. And I do have to admit that they're a size four, so they fit me more like, like leggings. Um, but I uh, really, really like them. It's the logo. Ready. I gotta do my workout too today still. Maybe I'll put all of this on. It's a, uh, we're doing arms and butt my workout. I do a, a workout that's by uh, Sydney Cummings and right now we're on day 48 out of 65 summertime fun. So if you want to check that out, um, it's a, it's been an awesome, awesome journey, awesome trip. And I will say one thing that, that I will be, a, a very strong 67 year old woman. <laughs> if I can just keep my wrists from hurting, um, and all of that stuff. But enough of me complaining, okay? Um, I'm very, very blessed and very, very thankful. And so let's keep going, I'm digressing. So I will not be able to wear this trend. Uh, this is the lingerie as outerwear trend. Um, I think people would look at me like I was deranged and what, what was I doing outside of my boudoir? <laughs> <laughs> but it does look cute on uh, people that are a um, little younger, I guess. Anyway, I got this slip and, um, and immediately thought of all the slip dress stuff. And so let me see if I can put something over it and make it a little more uh, age appropriate, okay? This is a vintage piece from Limited. And um, it's a combed, uh, ribbed cotton. And I've got it over the slip. Now, I don't know <laughs> whether I like this or not, or whether I would ever go anywhere dressed like this, but it's kind of an interesting thing to play with. And it's something that I'm watching a lot of the YouTube um, vloggers do is mix things up in unexpected ways. And so I'm trying to train my eye a little bit to get out of my, my bourgeois, uh, comfort zone. <laughs> uh, um, my, I'm, I'm very conservative generally in uh, how things, how color palettes match and, and what should go with what. And so um, it's very fun to do. And I think along with everybody else, you just have to keep playing with things until you come up with, um, you know, something that works. So let's keep moving on. So this is minimally better. <laughs> starting to look a little bit more like a slip dress. <laughs> I've got one more piece to try. Well, let's just say it didn't work. <laughs> this is a piece, it is not uh, intimately free people, although they did uh, tops exactly like this, or dresses. Um, this is, I'll have to get back to you what the brand is, but this is what I was thinking is I would try some different silhouettes um, over the piece. <laughs> I'm not sure how much detail you can see in this. This is from Everlane and it's uh, what I think is the washed linen shirt. I really like it um, with the uh, upcoming trends of the black on black um, for summer. And so I think that black linen is kind of a good fit for all of that. I love this piece. This is vintage from uh, Liz Claiborne. And I think it would make a good jacket um, as it has this squared off fit. And I love the windowpane um, linen. 
I've run out of bottoms to put on with all these tops, so I'm putting, I've got on the dreaded Bermuda shorts here. I'm wondering if I cut off the hems if they would uh, look a little better. This t-shirt is all over the internet and um, I like it. It's just a remake of a band tee. Um, pretty sure it's not vintage, um, but I like it. I like, uh, I like some aspects of Van Halen. They're my era. Um, <laughs> but I do, I like the fit. I like the oversized fit. And um, so, so gotta love this t-shirt. Um, I'm gonna have to get back to you on what the brand is. And I love these pants. These are vintage Josephine Chaws, Chows, C H A U F. These have a nice loose leg, and I just think that they would look so good with high heels, just all dressed and glammed up. They've got a really nice, stretchy, drapey fabric, and I'm really pretty excited about them. So, let me show you with a couple other pieces. The t shirt is from La La Land Creative. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure what to do with this. It's um, a merino wool poncho from Eileen Fisher. And I'm not sure which way, See, I think, I think maybe it's like that. It was to go like that. I would like tuck it in something. I don't know. These things do not do a lot for me because there are a lot of fabric going across my broad shoulders. Let me see if I can go like this. Hmm. I don't know. Something to play with. <laughs> this is a beautiful pale pink infinity scarf um, from Martha Stewart. So it's really, really soft, 100% cashmere. So uh, I think my days of picking up cashmere at the bins are becoming numbered. Um, I think they're pretty much getting ready to start hanging on to all the fall stuff. And, and so I'll be my cue to start collecting summer stuff. So that's what they have and that's what I'll collect. Um, this is, I believe, Nordstrom. The men's store from Nordstrom. Super high end, about a $200 retail cashmere. And then these are, um, I think, the older version of the airy leggings. They ha do have a side pocket. They're the. Um, all right. Uh, this gorgeous velvet piece is from Taylor. And generally, I do not like this kind of a neckline. Um, although in this particular case, it, it is longer. So I still have some um, skin showing through here. Um, it's a little bit on the big side. So as you can see, it's kind of pooching out right here. So I don't know whether it's I'm long-waisted or the dress is short or what have you but I think it's doable it's got uh, great slits on each side and I believe it's available online right now um, for pretty close to original retail it's a pretty new piece um, so I will probably sock this away for fall and uh, and when I wear it, it would be obviously with different undergarments. These ones are <laughs> trying to. <laughs> okay, this is the last piece, you guys. Um, this is a dress from Decidual. And um, I will be uh, either reselling this or donating it because I don't think it is a, really an attractive 
fit on me. I like their pieces a lot, but I have to be very particular about them because they, for some reason on me, they skew older. And maybe it's this rounded neckline and the three quarter length sleeves. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a cute dress. It has tiers that go to here and it's this short mini. And I mean, it is cute. I, I'm really on the fence about it. Maybe if I wore it uh, with a jacket or uh, maybe a, a Wilfred uh, card, long cardigan, maybe that would be cute um, and tights. So I like the print. Um, I also got a couple of these, you know, super uh, bralette cami thingies. Here they are. Shoot, they, you know, they're $40, $50 each. I, I pick them up when I see them. <laughs> so that's it, you guys. I hope you had a good time watching this stuff from the bins. I'm going to sign off now because the humidity is getting up to... I don't know what. <laughs> but it feels very, very warm in here. And it's getting hard to put clothes on and take them off. <laughs> so... Um, Thanks a lot, you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.